I had a great reminder this week about advocating for myself. I went to the hospital, spent a couple days in the hospital with a venomous spider bite. And it reminded me of all the times I've been in the hospital for my cancer and my brain aneurysm before and how you advocate for yourself. Self-advocacy is tricky. Like sometimes it makes us nervous. Like, oh, are people gonna think that I'm too bossy? There's two types of situations where we advocate for ourselves. One is where we know what the desired outcome is. We know what we need, want, or deserve. And the other, like with me this week in the hospital, I don't know exactly what I need or want, but I, I need answers, I need somebody to help me. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I still have to advocate for myself. And you might think it's easier to advocate for yourself when you know exactly what the outcome is, that, that desired outcome, that promotion that you deserve. But sometimes it's actually harder. Because in both situations, the reason you have to advocate for yourself is that there is someone who is above you or being a gatekeeper, someone who has the knowledge or the power or the control that you're lacking in that situation. Sometimes when you know exactly what it is that you need or want or deserve, your way of asking for it sometimes can come across as demanding or combative and it actually works against you. So it sometimes is easier to advocate for yourself when you're in a position like me and you don't know exactly what it is you need because you employ a great strategy, asking questions. So for example, when I'm sitting there with the first ER doctor and the first ER doctor is kind of blowing me off and is saying, no, you don't need to see the infectious disease guy, I could ask the questions of, well, why don't I need to? Instead, I can phrase those questions to really get some good answers like, hmm, what is it about this situation that makes you think that's the best course of action? Oh, that's a much more broad question rather than saying, well, why, but why, why not this? Why can't I? Cause then that's just begs the response of, because I said so. If you ask those open ended questions, then all of a sudden, guess what? I got to see the infectious disease specialist lickety split when I ask questions like that. So even when you know the desired outcome that you want, the promotion, the raise, whatever it is, if you ask questions, that get closer to what you're really desiring, that's actually how you advocate for yourself in the best possible way. Advocating for yourself, whether you know exactly where it is that you need to be or not, advocating for yourself is excellent. And the way to do it without looking like you're demanding is to ask questions. It's not about belittling your power or pretending, oh, I'm just so meek, I don't know. But it's about asking good, smart, questions that leads the other person, the person with that information or power or control to see things your way. That's how to be the best possible advocate for yourself in any situation.